What's up guys, Bun here from Bumplus Ultra, and today we are going to be finishing out the Stellar Mythos event. I'm going to finish reading out Myth Truth and then Myth Durandal, so let's just jump right into it. We're so sorry. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that was indeed what happened. The two Valkyries came clean about everything they had discussed. Oh no, the air feels solid. Master Durandal must be furious. We touched something top secret. I knew it. I, we are so sorry. We will take it to the grave, we swear. Please, Master Durandal, please spare our lives. We will do anything. Calm down. I'm just speechless from the huge misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? The battle suit you saw. I am, I am interested to see what that battle suit turns out to be. Looks like this, right? Really? Whoa, the golden armor, the glow. I didn't see it with my own eyes, but I think it was this one. But isn't this your secret, Master Durandal? Are you sure you want to display it like this in front of us? It's not a secret. I didn't tell you about it only because it didn't come up. But now that it's caused some confusion among my Valkyries, then I need to clarify. You mean you're willing to tell us the truth, Master Durandal? Yes, let me start from what happened last night. I wonder if this is true or not. Let's see. One day ago at the Valkyrie Fitness Center. It was 4.47 a.m., the most tranquil moment of the day. I'm gonna have to start waking up at 4.47. The morning sun hadn't risen, but the night shades had become thin. Nightbirds had fallen asleep while early risers hadn't awoken. Durando looked up to the ceiling of the training room, which looked higher than usual to her. Lately, she always fell asleep at 11 and woke up at 4. Five hours of sleep sure wasn't enough, but she was used to it. She would feel better doing exercises and training here, rather than just tossing and turning in bed. She logged in with the user named Durandal07. She had this account for a specific type of training. Hmm. The noise of the machine operating, the gray walls started to ripple and brighten. The next moment, she was standing under clear blue skies. System initiating. Generating training environment difficulty 9. Environment generated simulation started. Well, I was going to say, that looked insane for a second. All right, transform. Fifty-six seconds. Not bad. I feel I can do better and hold this form longer. Would you like to take a break, Master Durandal? Oh, it must be Rita. Rita, what are you doing here? You... Rita glanced at the camp bed in the corner of the training room with a worried frown. You didn't sleep in your room for two days this week. I understand that you want to master the powers as soon as possible, Master Durandal, but straining your energy wouldn't help. What happened? Sorry to worry you. It was nothing important. Durandal walked to the camp bed and sat down. Rita then gently sat beside her. Lately, I've been dreaming of what happened five years ago. Five years ago? You mean our journey in the Sea of Quanta? Five years ago, Durandal, who was an A-rank Valkyrie at the time, was ordered directly by the Overseer to go on a mission in the Sea of Quanta. They traveled in a massive, complex bubble universe where they met many people and experienced many things and finally accomplished their mission. For some reason, her body was also connected to that bubble universe, and the mission was also the reason why she got the name Durandal. Yes, and in my dreams, there were also many things that didn't really happen in that bubble universe. They mingled together and confused me. I sometimes couldn't fall asleep because of that, so I just came here to kill some time. Sounds like you're under too much pressure, Master Durandal. Insomnia and unsound slumber is bad for your health. Would you like some melatonin? Thank you, Rita, but I don't feel it's pressure. It feels more like what athletes would feel before a very important sports event. Like excitement. Anxious, but also excited about a great chance to prove themselves. Five years ago, I came to HQ with the aspiration to be a strong Valkyrie and protect as many people as I can. All I ever considered was to give it my best shot on everything. I can't stand any regret that stems from not trying hard. I still remember you said that my personality makes me unsuitable for my job. But every decision you've made turned out to be good. You've proven that you are a great leader of Immortal Blades. You've changed a lot these years. I even worry that you might be pushing yourself to be a smileless squad leader. I sometimes had this feeling too, but after these sleepless nights, I started to realize that I never changed. She raised her right arm, her golden gauntlet shining in the light. At this very moment, in that world connected with me, there are skies, oceans, and people waiting to embrace the first glimmer of dawn. It was my own choice to shoulder the responsibility of the survival of an entire world. I never regretted this choice. Maybe I'll change a lot after another 5 or 10 years, but no matter how many years have passed, that world and what I had experienced there will always be a part of me until I fulfill my promise. And that journey also shaped Durandal. Durandal gazed at Rita with her blue eyes. 
Sorry for being all mushy and sentimental. But I'm glad that I still clearly remember all this. That journey with you is the best thing that ever happened to me. I feel the same, Master Bianca. It's admirable that you always have your eyes on the road ahead, but it's okay to look back once in a while. Yeah, it feels good. Damn. Durandal actually pretty real. It's already the morning. Would you like to have breakfast now, Master Durandal? It's ready. Today I made... Uh, let's keep it a surprise. But before breakfast, I think it's better that you turn back to your normal form. If other Valkyries see you like this, it might raise some unnecessary turmoil. Why? What's wrong with this form? <sighs> you haven't changed a bit, Master Durandal. Huh? Back to now. That's about everything. So in short, this is a form that I can turn into when I use the energy of that bubble universe. That is really cool. So they, the bubble universe is not canon, but it is canon now. Sort of. Well, I guess the story might not be canon. I don't know. In this form, I can even travel through the Sea of Quanta, but there's a time limit, of course. Theoretically, anyone who has stable connection with the Sea of Quanta can utilize such powers. Uh, I only understood like half of what you just said, but sounds like the moths is off the table. So is Magic Girl. There is no magic in the world after all. <sighs> I didn't say your stories were absolutely impossible. I mean, I don't even know my past. Leaving aside the Alien and Future Girl stories, maybe I really have something to do with the previous era or Magic Girl. Really? You don't even know your past? Wouldn't you be curious? I am curious, but I can live with it. Actually, I think it's kind of fun to not know my past. Really? To me, it's a similar question of what's for dinner. Worth a while of discussion, but nothing more. But that's your life. How can who am I and what's for dinner be equally important? Then how do you define the question who am I? Huh? If it's a question about names, then the answer is Bianca Atagina. If it's about profession, I'm a Valkyrie working for Shixel. But neither of them is the answer to this question. To me, what my past was like doesn't really matter. What matters is the future. Wow, that was so cool, Master Durando, you rock. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna write this down. Anyway, does anyone else know about this? Actually, everyone is talking about this. Oh my. Guess I'll have to clarify and apologize to the girls. This is too big a misunderstanding. Maybe I need to call a meeting or make a public statement. Anyway, you two can go back to work now. Roger. They stood to attention and saluted Durandal, and then walked towards the exit. Their shadows lengthened as they left. Five years ago, in this very corridor, there was also a girl who went forward without looking back. Rita was right. It indeed raised turmoil. Guess I'll need to listen to her more. But I just handled it pretty well, I think. This episode should be over soon. Okay, Durandal. Now it's time to know the real deal. Here we go. Have you heard of it? Heard of what? That thing you didn't know? What thing? You have to make me say it out loud, huh? Alright, it's Master Durandal is not a human. Discard the useless. Delete the fallacious. Life process ceases. Erase all. That's the Divine Emperor that rules the Sky People. The one that brought Apocalypse to the Dusk Era in the distant future. The Seed of Doomsday and the Witch of Origin. And my former comrade in arms. Yo, it's Kevin! What up, dog? Can anyone tell me what is going on here? Time is running out. I'll be brief. This world is not real, and you are the only real human being here. Everything here is data generated by the program. This is a world in a box created to save human civilization. In reality, humanity has fallen into sheer despair. The only way left to try was to make all possible simulations of their world to find a solution. But this time, a bug called selfhood appeared in the simulation. Number 161014, this is the name of this world which unfortunately has been assessed as defective and unqualified. The calculation is about to reset and everything here will vanish, and you, Durando, are the promoter sent here to run this instruction. What? I understand your feeling of shock. I myself just knew about this too. You might be at a loss, but that feeling is also one of the instructions you receive from the program. Don't submit to it. Try to understand, feel, and believe on your own. Trust us and trust everything you see in this world. Love, creator, watcher, arbiter, executioner. We survive, you die. All anti-entropy members have fallen, and Shixel is also in dire situation. Six of our seven branches have gone, and you two are the only Valkyries who can still fight. The Witch of Chukma is dead. The Witch of Bina is in eternal slumber. The Witch of Hod betrayed us, and the Witch of Shazed collapsed. The Witch of Gevra lost her wings and could no longer soar. The Witch of Keter, the Witch of Keter fell into abyss and never returned. The Witch of Yesa built a ladder to the sky with her flesh. The Witch of Malkuth melted the latch with her soul. We're the only two left, Master Durandal. What? They didn't sacrifice in vain. The seven pillars have burnt down and the thirteen deities have fallen. The latch is off and the time of ascension has come. 
No one in this world can save this world, but you are different. Master Durandal, please help us. I still have no idea what is going on here, but all I need to do is beat this thing, right? Let's go. Get a little uh, SP charging up and stuff, you know? What the hell? Oh, it's Rhyme Star. I can't weapon her. Oh. Okay. All right, she's doing some doing some ish. We're just going to get in close. Oh. Transform. Oh, I need to dodge. Oh, I didn't dodge in time. It's all right. It's over. What in the world? Go hard. We gotta beat this thing. Master Durandal's attack is working. No, we only defeated its physical form, but the program is still running. This world is disintegrating. We are from this world, so there's nothing we can do to stop disturbance coming from outside. There's one last solution. You are part of it, Durandal. You are from outside this world, just like it. You could override its authority, replace it, and create a new datum anchor for this world. But doing so would connect you to this world forever. This world will continue to exist as long as you're alive, but the disintegration will reboot the instant you die. It's too heavy of a burden for an outsider to bear. No need to say more. I like this world as well as the people I met here, so I don't want this world to end. Maybe it's not a real world, but the feelings, emotions, and goodness of human nature that I've seen here are all true. Though my journey here has come to an end, I wish I can still protect it till the last day of my life. Whoa, sick. We're getting a real cutscene. Courage. Intuition. Freedom. Ethics. Prosperity. Reason. Dominance. For the people I like, and their friends and loved ones too. For anyone who understands and respects the meaning of humanity. They have touched me, and I will protect them with my life. Holy Blade, if you can still hear me, and if you still believe, I'm a worthy owner of you. Now it's time to break our limits. This is sick. Meanwhile, somewhere in Shixel HQ, do you have any clues about the recent widespread rumor among the Valkyries, Master Durandal? Huh? So did they tell the story to everybody? What a cool event. That was actually pretty well done. I like that. And the final thing from the shop. Boom. Will we use that to summon for Stygian Nymph tomorrow? I am not sure. I am really not sure. I think I'm probably going to save for the Evangelion collab. Because I don't really want to top up for SN if we don't get her. But we'll see. We'll see. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks a ton for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everybody has had an awesome week. And thanks so much for the support on the channel. We hit 2,000 subs. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.